a typical you know uh, question and iron gate instrumentation engineering gate we also got it in uh, biomedical 2020 because it's like a, a important application it connects imaging with uh, with bio instrumentation questions from this are likely to be show up so this i think is a gate 2020 Don't miss this question if it shows up. Okay, bottom line. We can derive even if you forgot it. We can derive this in two lines and then solve this. Okay, so today let's this is this important formula. We we'll make sure we we'll derive that. And uh, Docker, I think by now we know. So we have a source and we have a we have a receiver. If either of them is moving, there will be a shift in frequency. In this case, they say the source is moving towards the receiver. The frequency will be higher. F will increase. So this is known as Doppler effect. We have heard it with moving trains. We are used to this. We have also studied this long back. Today we will apply it for a important biomedical device. To warm up, we are going to use one one thing, which is that you know. so we have two frequencies one is the observed frequency the emitted frequency emitted frequency is f not and the observed frequency is you know this scaled version of f not it is different and how much is it different depends on two things the speed of propagation of sound c and whether the receiver is moving related to the medium and then whether the source is moving related to the medium so let's let's try a couple of cases let's fix the source and let's only you know move the receiver so yes is fixed and uh, receiver kind of moves towards the towards the towards the source and in this case we we see that so this is c p s is zero and you know it's p r is added if the receiver is moving towards the source which is the case we are looking at and we have like f not so what happens to the frequency in this case does it increase or decrease increase sir sorry increase increase right in this case the frequency increases similarly let's look at another case where let's uh, fix the receiver the receiver is fixed and in this case let's also you know the so dr is zero and let's consider a case where source is moving say away from the receiver so in this case it's added so v is c plus vr which is zero and it's added c plus vs in the form so if the source is moving away what happens to the frequency decreases it decreases okay so we we kind of like you know this this particular uh, thing scaling of frequencies work both can happen simultaneously but they can also act independently okay so we can can we use this one relation to derive this echo principle can we take this for granted yeah let's do that and uh, of course so this question drop the shift velocity meter f is a transmitted frequency c is the velocity of sound in here theta is the angle angle of inclination of incident wave direction to wave to direction of wave flow And if not as Doppler shift, velocity of dead cells is given us. I think the answer here is so. This is the answer. Yes, sir. Let's let's actually derive it. So to give a thing, the situation we have here is we have blood flowing with the velocity b, and towards that we have a Doppler probe. So this is a transmitter, and it sends a pulse. Then receives that pulse back so kinds get reflected by this by the flowing blood and then receives it back it's called this f transmitter and let's call this f f received here of this and we want to know the relationship between f t and f r in fact in this case we want the actually the difference the form is f t so let's go derive that so first notice Two things happen. How, how how many ways the frequency actually shifts here? Two ways. Two ways, right? So one is we have you know um, F T. It it goes on you know let's call this F blood. 
because blood is moving in this case the receiver is moving there is going to be a change in frequency here fb and then the receiver also acts as a scatterer so there is the second process of fb to back to the you know this transducer fb to fr so here blood is moving or blood is moving in both the cases but here blood acts as a receiver and here blood acts as a source it is scattering back to the you know the transducer agree with this bit yeah okay blood is moving in both the cases in this case the receiver is moving uh, to model it in this case the source is moving source is moving great so with that let's you know this is now it's very very simple what happens to the yeah b what is the frequency that it received in this case i think the uh, receiver is moving so and it's moving with a velocity of v constant so it's like b what is the velocity in this direction it's v cos theta right so if this is if it's inclined at the angle theta here it's theta here so this component is v cos theta agree along this along the transducer so this is c plus v cos theta by c times the transmitted frequency agree so this is receiver is moving and receiver is moving towards the source we have the probe here have we yeah let me like make this more clear so we have the component of v this is v constant along the transducer okay then now we take the frequency you know that the blood has and it scatters it black and now in this case we receive it right at the transducer and in this case the source kind of moving so we have this and source is moving towards the transducer right so we have c minus b cos theta notice in the previous case the plus was there and source was moving away but in this case blood is moving towards the transducer so we have c minus c minus b cos theta sorry if r now is like substitute for fb from here so this is c by c minus b cos theta times c plus b cos theta by c times c so i substitute for fb okay and now some simple manipulations and uh, notice that the velocity of blood is much smaller than velocity of sound so we can make some simplifications here so this term will be equal to add add and subtract minus v cos theta so c minus v cos theta by c minus v cos theta plus so now add the v cos theta here plus 2 v cos theta by and the c got cancelled by this remainder of the c minus v cos theta okay and there is also a factor of fb i add and subtracted minus v cos theta so we make a couple of changes here so this factor is you know now it's it's one so what is f r minus f t so we take this f t to that side it is 2 v cos theta by notice v cos theta is much smaller than c so we have just now c f t and the reason here is we say v cos theta the flow blood velocity is smaller than c okay so this is the relation that we got and this shift is known as doppler shift frequency that's it so from this we can that question is like uh, straight forward right uh, so we have like delta f is 2 2v cos theta f transmitter by c so now we have like b is delta f by c by 2 cos theta f t so this is f t now right so we get the expression i mean uh, yes sir so okay so this expression uh, in fact it's now you realize if you know actually how what the doppler shift is with sign stereos Uh, you can derive this in two lines 
even if you don't remember it in the exam you can derive it but make sure uh, you know and remembering the sign convention is also very simple whether if uh, you know frequency should rise or fall that logic should also tell us what the sign convention is we can derive even if you forgot it we can derive this in two lines and then solve this so there is this a typical you know uh, question in iron gate instrumentation engineering gate we also got it in uh, biomedical 2020 because it's like a, a important application it connects imaging with uh, with bio instrumentation questions from this are likely to be show up so this i think is a gate 2020 don't miss this question if it shows up okay bottom line